You know, not too long ago, I was expecting an overnight delivery, and the day it arrived, I happened to be near the front door of our office. And I told the delivery man that the package was for me, and I quickly signed for it. And then I opened it immediately as he was making notes on his little handheld device. The contents contained the good news that I was expecting. So I said to the delivery man, wow, this is good news. Thanks for bringing it. And I expected him to say, you are welcome. But instead he said, sir, don't thank me. I'm not responsible for the contents, just responsible for the delivery. Well, as I was walking back to my office, I thought about what he said. And I realized that it's true for believers as well. We have a command from our Lord to share the gospel with people who aren't believers. But sometimes we fail to do so because of the response we might receive. Maybe someone will accuse us of being judgmental, or perhaps they will begin lecturing us on why the Bible isn't true or how everyone is going to heaven. And because of that possible response, some Christians try to change the truth of the gospel into an acceptable message, one that doesn't mention our sin or our need for a savior. And it certainly doesn't include the consequences of eternal punishment if one rejects Christ. But our Lord never told us to try and make the message acceptable. He simply told us to share it. In other words, we aren't responsible for the contents of the gospel, just the delivery. Take a moment to think about it, and I'll see you tomorrow.